Uh, hi there, this is Tim Cook from Cheaptastic Tech and I want to do a quick video today about how to set up Android Pay to work on a Android Wear smartwatch paired to an iPhone. Okay, so this is a uh, I don't use iPhones very much, but this is one I had laying around, so I decided to set up the phone and put some put some Android Wear watches on them and check out how everything works. Okay, so I of course I just paired the Android Wear to the to the phone and that's just straightforward because it just tells you how to do it. Okay, and then Okay, so I now have Android Wear on here, and I have my LG Urbane version 2, or Urbane 2, hooked up on here. And there's the watch faces and so on. Oops, watch faces. But we don't really have to bother with this anymore. Okay, I just wanted to show you that it was in fact hooked to an iPhone. Okay, now, you want to get Android Pay to work, while you're paired to an iPhone. Well, no big deal. Of course, it's going to have to be on a watch that has Android Pay. So this is, like I said, the LG Urbane 2, or second edition. Uh, it'll also work with the new one, the LG Watch Sport. Okay, so after you've set it up, you'll go in into your apps. And if you go through here, you'll see that there's no Android Pay there. Now, let's go to Settings. And then we'll go to Apps. Okay, and I haven't installed anything on here, so all I got are System Apps. Okay, so we're going to System Apps. And if we look in here, you'll see that there's no Android Pay. Okay, so what we have to do is go to the Play Store. So let's go to the Play Store. Okay, so of course this is Android Wear version 2. Otherwise, you don't have access to the Play Store. Okay, so as you can see, okay, I have to add Wi-Fi. So let me get that done. We'll just pause for a minute here. Okay, so then we got to agree to the, the terms. Okay, so what we want to do here, let's go to Search. And we'll do it with the microphone here. Android Pay. Okay. okay, you see there it says Android Pay and it says Disabled. Okay, so let's tap on that and we'll enable it. Okay, and then right away it's going to say Update. So we're going to Update. And it will download those updates. And install. Okay, so after a little pause there, we now can see Android Pay in the app. So after it's all done, we'll see it in with our apps. Now, Let's press the side button here, and there it is, Android Pay. Now, we're not done yet. So, now it's telling us that it needs to update Google Play services. Okay, so we'll need to do that. So, I'll click Update, or Tap Update. And that'll go ahead and update. All right. Little Wi-Fi problems where I am because it's not that strong right here. 
Okay, so there it is, Google Play Services, and update. Okay, so that'll download and update. So I'll just pause the video while it does that. Okay, so once this is done installing, we'll come back and we will open Android Pay again and we'll continue with the setup. Okay, so everything's updated now. So it's telling us to get started, so we'll tap on that. Okay, so it needs a screen lock. I'm going to use a pattern, but you can use pattern, pin, or password. So I'll just... So we confirm it now. Oops. Okay. Let's register an account with Android Pay. So it's getting our cards now. Okay, so we have an Android Wear on the phone now. Okay, so there, my Visa card. Okay, and then I got to enter in the information that it wants here. Okay, and then we confirm details and continue. Okay, then we have card issue ter issuer terms, so we need to agree to all that. It's about a million pages long. Okay, so now it's contacting my bank and verifying my card. Okay, so now it's asking me how, so I'm going to go with a text message. Okay, then I enter the verification code on here when I get it by text. Okay, so I submitted my code. I got my visa showing on my phone. And you'll see that I now have it on here. Okay, so all I have to do is hold this end this to the payment terminal and it will pay with it. And that's it. Okay, so the first time you use it, you're going to get this screen. Just click get started there. And at that point, you just tap it to the payment terminal and it will work. Now, the nice thing is you don't have to have this attached to any type of data. After it's set up, it'll work standalone. So it's just like a credit card. 
It doesn't isn't attached to anything either, but it works. Now on the Urbane 2, all I gotta do is click this bottom button here. This only comes up the first time. And the pattern uh, will come into effect if you take it off your wrist. So when you first start it up, you have to put your pattern in or any th anytime you take it off your wrist. Otherwise, you won't have to bother with that. This will just work for you every time. Okay, so there you are. I just showed you how you can set up Android Pay on your Android Wear 2.0 smartwatch that is equipped for Android Pay while using an iPhone.